A statement from the department said the report could have had an impact on tourism to Australia. It also said the report's title, Destinations at Risk, had the potential to cause considerable confusion. In particular, the World Heritage Committee had only six months earlier decided not to include the Great Barrier Reef on the in danger list and commended Australia for the Reef 2050 plan. The department was concerned that the framing of the report confused two issues, the world heritage status of the sites and risks arising from climate change and tourism. Recent experience in Australia had shown that negative commentary about the status of world heritage properties impacted on tourism. Professor Will Steffen, an emeritus professor at the Australian National University and head of Australia's Climate Council, was one of the scientific reviewers on the paper. He also noted the distribution of the report, which summarizes risks to world heritage areas in many nations, would likely be limited to specialists who worked in associated fields. He said, you wouldn't expect to see it on the bestseller list. The report was created by UNESCO in partnership with the Union of Concerned Scientists and the United Nations Environment Programme. It's not clear why UNESCO agreed to the government's request to remove the passages.